In this step, we're going to look at importing static meshes into our project so that we can really start adding some detail to this level we've created. So the first thing we need to do is a little bit of organization and we're going to make sure that we put all the things that we bring in, all the assets into the right place. So the first thing we're going to bring in is the cabin. So I'll just plop a picture of the cabin on screen so you know what we're working towards. And what we're going to do is put that into the geometry folder because we're going to bring in the FBX file first of all. So this is our geometry folder. So if you go into meshes here, you can see there's some stuff already in there that's provided by the start content. But we just want to put it in the top level geometry folder so that we can kind of differentiate what's our stuff and what's the uh, the epic stuff. So I've already got these um, files prepared. So the cabin here is the FBX file. So if you've got access to my files, um, then you can absolutely drag that in. If you want access to my files, follow the link in the description below for instructions on how to get to them. If you don't have access to mine, just use your own, that's fine. So I've got cabin.fbx. It's a really simple mesh that I just created myself for this exercise. So I'm just going to drag this into the uh, folder here. There we go. And I'll just minimize, oh, if it lets me. Minimize that, there we go. So this opens the FBX import options. And we need to make sure that we get these right so that the, the mesh behaves how we want it to. So the first thing that we need to be aware of is this isn't a skeletal mesh. You use skeletal meshes on things that are going to be animated. So characters would be a prime example of that. Uh, but what we are going to do is turn on auto generate collision. Because I built this um, cabin, I know that there's no collision mesh included in the file. So we're going to let Unreal auto generate one for us, which is fine. And then for what we're doing, everything else can just remain the same. So we'll just click on import. And there you can see that's now appeared in our folder. So that is pretty much that done. What we could do now is just save it so that that kind of saves. You see you've got the little asterisk here. So if we save that, that asterisk will disappear. And then if it crashes, which it's done on me a few times, then that cabin will be there when we reopen it. Okay, so the other things that we need is there are quite a few textures associated with this. And we need to get all those important into the textures for, uh, folder as well. So let's go to back to content and into the textures folder. And you can see we've got quite a few in there already. So what we will now do is go back to this folder and we'll just select everything apart from this cabin because that's already imported. And I'm just going to drag those in here. And this is absolutely the same as just importing texture files by clicking on import. But we're just dragging and dropping now as a different way of doing things. And there you can see these have all now been imported. The new ones have got the asterisks next to them. So we've got, you can see this beam one here. There's a burnt wood one, which we'll use later. I'm not sure why that's in that folder, actually. Uh, we've got door diffuse, uh, roof tiles. So everything's there ready to go. And again, we're just going to click on save all so that all these textures will appear back in the project should this crash. So save selected and it'll go through, save all those. And then we're ready to move on to actually getting this into the level. Okay, so now that everything's imported, we'll just go back and have a little look at the geometry for our cabin. If we open it up, so if you double click on any piece of geometry, any static meshes, it will open up this, which that's not the best view of it. Let's just zoom out a little bit. This is your, your static mesh preview window. Here it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? So as you can see, it's a really simple mesh, but we kind of need to know what's happening here. So there's a few things that we can look at. So the, the thing that up here that I'm most interested in at the moment is this collision. So we've had a, an auto um, collision created for us. And that's represented by kind of these purple lines just here. And as you can see, it's okay, um, but it's not entirely accurate. If we wanted to stand up on the, the roof for any reason, we'd have to stand on here, which wouldn't match up. So we'll change the way that collision works, but we'll do that a little bit later on, uh, just so that we're, we're concentrating on that when we need to. So we'll just turn that collision off for a second. And what we also need to look at are these material slots here. So the way I've built this um, is I put multiple materials on it. It's a lot neater to just build this whole thing with one material, but I've got a lot of tiling of different materials going on. So I wanted to do it with different materials. So you can see at the moment, because we've not imported the materials with this, it's just got the world grid material attached to everything, but it does tell us what materials go where because of the way I named them in Maya. So you've got M underscore slats, M underscore window, M underscore beam, a default material. I don't know what that is. 
we've got m underscore tiles m underscore chimney m underscore door and if we build all of those and slap them onto here that will then make this cabin ready to import into the level and that's what we're going to move on to in the next step so we need to fill all those material slots with the correct materials so that this looks beautiful and sexy and then we can drop it into the level so i'll see you in the next step to build some beautiful materials thanks for watching if you really want to take your learning further than i can cover in this series then i highly recommend checking out plural site they have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using unreal engine 4. when i learned how to use unreal a couple of years ago this is where i went and i log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills i recommend checking out the introduction to unreal engine 4 course by joshua kinney this is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days, you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's gotta be worth a free trial though, right? I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.